Greetings, my dear brothers and sisters. I have yet another amazing, powerful word of encouragement for you. Remember that every single day I release these words upon your lives. These are words meant for you, specifically for you. Not someone else, but it is for you. If you are watching me right now, you have clicked on the right platform. You have not clicked on this platform by mistake. It is not a coincidence that you are watching and listening to me right now. It is that God wants you to hear this information. It is for your sake. My brothers and sisters, today's word is God has not forgotten you. God has not forsaken you. He has not brought you this far to just abandon you. Some of you have had to go through a lot of terrifying experiences. You have had to go through a lot of narcissists, a lot of haters, a lot of uh, diabolic societies and people. And you have reached this point. God has not brought you this far just to leave you there. God has not brought you this far to abandon you. He loves you so much. He is with you. He has never left you. Never has he forgotten you. Let no one lie to you that God has forgotten you. He knows you by name. By name he knows you. My brothers and sisters, let me read to you the scripture that is going to encourage you. It is from the book of Isaiah chapter 49 verse 14 to 17. Isaiah chapter 49 verse 14 to 17. And it reads, But Zion said, The Lord has forsaken me, and my Lord has forgotten me. Can a woman forget her nursing child and not have compassion on the son of her womb surely they may forget yet i will not forget you see i have inscribed you on the palms of my hands your walls are continually before me your sons shall make haste you destroyers and those who laid you waste shall go away from you. What a powerful scripture to begin with. That Zion went through this problem that you are going through. Where Zion thought that God had forgotten her. The scripture said, But Zion said, The Lord has forsaken me. And my Lord has forgotten me. And now the, the, a question was posed to Zion. Can a woman forget her nursing child and not have compassion on the son of a womb? Surely they may forget, yet I will not forget you. A woman can forget her nursing child, or may forget, so to say, but God will not forget you. You have heard on, this, uh, on the news where Women have uh, some women, not all, just a few women who go through light afflictions and they give up their children to adoption or they abandon their children. People can do that, but God, He will never do it. He will ne because God is not a man. God is not like a man that He should even lie to you. If you say that He's going to keep you, if you say that is your light, if you say that He will protect you. He will surely protect you. Now, the scripture in verse 16 says, See, I have inscribed you on the palms of my hands. Your walls are continually before me. God is telling you to see. Because some of you, where you are looking at is very different. The thing that you are focusing on does not even matter so much. And God wants you to see. He wants to see, I have inscribed you 
on the palms of my hands. You are inscribed on the palms of God's hands. That is the truth. This is what scripture says. Do you know an inscription? I can imagine an inscription just like a tattoo or something like that. That's my imagination. I can imagine an inscription. God has inscribed you. I'm not saying it's a tattoo. No, 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 no. no. I'm saying that is the, what I'm thinking. But God has inscribed you on the palms of his hands. On the palms of his hands, he has inscribed you. And the scripture says, your walls are continually before me. Do you know that you have walls? Do you know that you have walls? The scripture says that your walls, not someone's walls, your walls are continually before him. Not for some day or for two months or for one year or for a second. No, continually before him, your walls. That means he can never forget you. He can never forsake you. He can never abandon you. And the scripture says, your sons shall make haste. Your destroyers and those who laid, ye, who laid you west shall go away from you. Some of you have enemies who created, who created a mess in your life. But the scripture says that they shall go away from you. Their time of expiry has come. Just like any product that has an expiry date, even your enemies have an expiry date. And some of you, your enemies, have begun to vanish. They have begun to flee. Scripture says it clear that uh, a wicked man flees or runs. He runs when no one is chasing him. Some of you will start seeing your enemies running when no one is chasing them. Some of them will go mad. Some of them you will see them on the streets when they are mad. They were once your enemies. But they rebelled against God. And they decided to wage war against you. And they faced the consequences. My brothers and sisters, this is the end of this word. I hope it has blessed you. Until next time, God keep you.